that's dumb. This is Sparta! Boy, do I just love me some dead memes. Hello everyone, and welcome to my... Our... Oh yeah, our History Fair Project. This time, I decided to be joined by a partner, and his name is Walter. Hello. And we decided to do our project on the Treaty of Thirty Years' Peace, plus the after effects of the treaty, aka the Peloponnesian War. Why do both of these? Well, from all the ten sites we gathered, there wasn't a whole lot of interesting info on the treaty, and how it came to be, so we thought we'd expand the project and make it a bit longer by adding what happened to the Spartans in Athens because of the treaty. Now then, without further ado, let the games begin! First, we should start with how the treaty was made in the first place, as well as a really brief summary on what the treaty was made for. So pretty much, the two ancient Greek civilizations, known as the Spartans and Athens, had been in conflict for quite a while. The first conflict was the First Pondonesian War, which led to a treaty between the two nations, known as the Treaty of Thirty Years' Peace. The treaty provided Athens and Sparta freedom from conflict with one another. It also made both sides sacrifice and get rid of a few things, such as Athens' possession of all the places they seized from the Peloponnesians. So, that was just a brief summary of the event, but in case you didn't quite understand, I'm sure Walter wouldn't mind explaining it in simpler terms. Here's how I see it. Two siblings can't get along, so they make a treaty to try and stay out of each other's hair. It then gets to a point where they just don't like each other, so the treaty is broken and they fight some more until the older brother wins. Usually the older brother. So I think we should go over what exactly led to the creation of the Treaty of Thirty Years' Peace, don't you think? Sure thing, pal. Anyways, the treaty was agreed upon around 446 BC, but only became officially established around 445 BC. Despite the conflict being centered around the Athens and Sparta, it also had to deal with a multitude of other nations around ancient Greece. The conflict started with what was known as the first First Penguinesian War. Then Megara, an ally of Sparta, drew from their alliance and allied with Athens, offering support to Megara in the form of a great big wall. At this point, Athens was at a peak of their power in the war, as they controlled most of central Greece. Most of it because they still hadn't controlled another ally of Sparta's, Thebes. Unfortunately for Athens, in 454 BC, one of their largest aides for Egypt during Egypt's war against Persia, started rebelling against the Athenian Empire. So what did they decide to do, Cody? Athens, in time of desperation and need, turned to the Spartans for help. Together, the two nations formed the Treaty of Thirty Years' Peace, which led to an agreement for the two nations to quit their alliances with Argos and Thebes. With this treaty established, Athens could face Persia head-on again and help out Egypt once more. And then in 449 BC, Persia agreed to establish peace. However, three years later, a bunch of more nations started rebelling against Athens. One of these nations included Megara, which allowed Peloponnesia to invade Attica. The quote-unquote first treaty of 30 years peace lasted three years in total. Wow. Wow. Just wow. That's sad. I know, right? Anyways, Athens and Sparta then decided to rewrite the treaty in 446 BC, which would last literally half of what it was supposed to be. Well then, people really didn't know how to tell time back then. Nope. Now then, my good friend, how's about we talk about what happened when the treaty was broken 15 years after being resigned? The Peloponnesian War. What was the Peloponnesian War, and what did it have to do with the Treaty of Thirty Years' Peace? Well, allow us to explain what exactly happened when that 15-year gap happened, and, you know, another war broke out. <laughs> 
The Peperonesian War started in the year 431 BC and ended in the year 404 BC. During this time period, there were two large ancient Greek cities known as Athens and Sparta. Each of these cities, along with many other separate cities during the time, had their own political sidings and military forces. At this time, the Athens were the head of the Delian League, and the Spartans were leaders of the Peperonesian League. Good sir, I think you mean the Peloponnesian War and the Peloponnesian League. Now, what was that exactly? Well, shall you explain to them, my good man? With pleasure, my good sir. Anyways, the Croutonesian War was the byproduct of a breach in the Treaty of Thirty Years' Peace in 13 years after being established in 445 BCE. This breach occurred when Athens attacked and raided ally of Sparta's, Potidaea. The war can be split up into multiple different stages of conflict, the first of which being the Arcadamian War which lasted from 431 BC to 421 BC. In this small conflict, which sim simply just involved Athens being untouched by Sparta, which were occupying the surrounding areas of Athens, this small conflict led to the first of many treaties in 421 BC. Stage 2 of the conflicts happened after six years of peace. The Spartans had still been surrounding the Athens, and eventually fortified troops on the outskirts and disrupted the Athens silver mines. This was a major problem for them, since silver was their main source of cash money flow. Please stop. What if I don't want to stop? Okay, I'll stop. Anyways, this little issue eventually led to the Spartans bringing death upon anyone trying to flee the onslaught. This didn't stop the Athens, however, as they successfully defended against the rallying Spartan troops. Until 404 BC, when Athens surrendered to the Spartans after the Spartans destroyed their food supply. Eventually, the Athenian statesmen... Theramenes met with the Spartan general Lysander to negotiate an agreement. Thus, the Peace of Nicias was made. Sparta was claimed victorious, and the Peloponnesian War was brought to a close. Dude, you finally pronounced it right! Hey, I did! It's about time you pronounced the Pinata Nisian War right. Gosh dang it. So that brings a close to this project slash animation. In the end, me and Walter decided to talk about the Treaty of Thirty Years Peace as well as the war that came from it instead of just the treaty. We did this just so that the animation would be a bit longer and so that you, the audience, found out what happened after the treaty was established. This project was made by Cody and Walter. The citation can be found in the description of this video as well as the screen that's currently showing right now. To our live audience, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed and hope you've been informed. See you all next time.